In this video, we're going to be going through a couple of questions that involve the double angle formula for tan, so tan of 2x. So we've got this first one, tan of 2x is equal to 3 tan x. We're solving between 0 and 2 pi. Okay. Now the tan 2x, we can go directly to the double angle formula, replace it with 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. And we've got the 3 tan x on the right hand side. Now we're going to want to multiply up by the 1 minus tan squared. So 2 tan x is equal to 1 times 3 tan x. Take away tan squared times 3 tan x. So 3 tan cubed x. Right, let's move everything on to the left hand side. So we have the 3 tan cubed x. Take away the 3 tan x on both sides. So take away tan x is equal to 0. We can factor tan x out and have 3 tan squared x take away 1 inside the bracket. So either tan x is equal to 0 or tan x is equal to 1 over 3 square rooted, so 1 over root 3. Or tan x is equal to negative 1 over root 3. OK, so they're coming from solving that equation. Now, if we do inverse tan of 0, we, of course, get 0. 0 is in the range, so x is equal to 0 is one possible solution. Tan has a period of pi, so I can add pi onto that, and I get another solution that's in the range. If I add pi to that, well, I'm now outside the range because we're not including 2 pi. So we've got two solutions from that one. So now we've got the inverse tan of 1 over the square root. So 1 over the square root of 3. So that gets us pi over 6. Add pi to that, and we're going to get 7 pi over 6. Add pi to that, we're outside the range. Right, inverse tan of minus 1 over root 3 is minus pi over 6. Now, that's outside the range, so I've got to add pi to that, and I get 5 pi over 6. That's inside. Add pi to that, we get 11 pi over 6. Add pi to that, you're outside the range. So we've actually got six solutions. So x is equal to... So in order of size, we've got the 0 first, then the pi over 6, then we've got 5 pi over 6, then we've got the pi, then we've got 7 pi over 6, and then 11 pi over 6. And so they are the six solutions that solve this equation. OK, now let's have a look at question number two. Now, you can see I was having fun when I made this one up, right? So this looks absolutely ghastly, but it should all come out nicely. So let's see how this works. So we have minus 4 times tan of 2x, which is the 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared, times by the tan x. OK, so that's the left-hand side. And when that's equal to the 1 plus tan squared, take away 17 over 1 minus tan squared x. So the right-hand side stayed the same. Right, let's simplify this a bit. So we've got the minus 4 times 2, so that's negative 8. We've got tan x times tan x, so tan squared x over 1 minus tan squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x takes 17 over 1 minus tan squared. OK. Right, let's multiply up by the 1 minus tan squared now. So we've got minus 8 tan squared left on the left-hand side. 1 minus tan squared times 1 is 1 minus tan squared. 1 minus tan squared times tan squared will get me tan squared minus tan to the 4. And 1 minus tan squared times this will leave me with the minus 17. OK, we've got minus tan squared plus tan squared, so they cancel one another out. 
Let's move everything onto the left hand side. We've got the tan to the 4x. Take away the 8 tan squared, so that's staying where it is. We've got 1 take away 17, which is minus 16. Add 16 to both sides. So we've now got a hidden quadratic, because this factorises neatly. This is tan squared take away 4, all squared, equals 0. So that means that tan squared must be equal to 4. And that means that either tan x is equal to 2, or tan x is equal to negative 2. OK, right, so if I do inverse tan of 2, I get 1.107 to three decimal places. Add pi to that, I get 4.249. Add pi to that, I'm outside the range. Inverse tan of minus 2 is minus 1.107. That's outside the range, so add pi to that. We get 2.034, add pi to that, 5.176. OK, so these are the four solutions in the range uh, to three decimal places that solve equation number two.